Welcome everyone to Programming 101, C programmers doing these things even at the GNU Free Software Foundation Red Hat and stuff. I, one of those videos, I wish I could say, sit here and just shout out like, like influencing YouTubers, unboxing, amazing Risk v stuff. But no, each day we sit here and some stuff doesn't work right. Um, and I'm obviously very disappointed, recurrently disappointed by the code quality of things. So what happened literally yesterday when I was debugging the Linux scheduler, because of course that also doesn't really work <coughs> very well, I wanted to task set, use task set, GNU's core utils, sket utils, task set, to pin tasks here in my scheduler research to specific CPU core, right? So uh, for performance testing and stuff, right? So obviously I run then, I identified the Rust LTO thing that was process 32,123 or so, it doesn't really matter much for today, it's just use um, P1, so I wanted to set this like say to CPU, otherwise this was 2 or 0, or actually 0 or 2, right, the high performance code, right, and this was task 32,000 whatever, but for illustration purposes today just use our init. Um, what could possibly go wrong, right? So you would set this, right? So normally you would like, execute something like sleep 2 or whatever and hey that works, right? But we have a process ID so um, I read the freaking manual, I even googled and stuff, so man tasks uh, process ID. It's like yeah P, P ID stuff, right? It's like yeah except it isn't. So I was like like do why does this no execute HP? What does it what does it try to do there, right man? Task set. Uh, was P uh, also like P mask and yeah, whatever, what's with with P? Um, like some Unix uh, user operate on existing PID, not launch a new task. Yeah, but, but why is it launching a new task, right? It's like hmm okay P is in the beginning, okay let's Okay, surely, okay, strange argument parsing, okay, then let's do P1, that surely invalid PID argument, what? Uh, okay, whatever, then zero, can't execute file directory, what? What the freaking heck has even gone there? So yeah, surely like all system integrators, kernel developers, Linux distribution maintainers, you compile the stuff and run GDB on it, right? What's even freaking going on there, right? Is, is, did, did someone not test that GDB, I believe it have it in the, ah yeah, here was task, uh, oops, GDB task. So um, breakpoint at main, uh, run this with C1, doesn't matter, P1, and then we step through that, right, like professionals would do. Here, get opt, okay, plus AP, C, C, moment, why did it break out, out of get opt long? PID, what, what is it, why, why did it not pass the second option in, wait, what, can't fail to execute, uh, what, what did it do, wait, wait a second, let's, let's reverse debug that. Uh, why get opt long, so if you're new to this stuff, programming 101, probably shall like subscribe, maybe, maybe sometime soon, apparently even for GNU, Free Software Foundation and Red Hat programmers, we need to educate command time parsing. So it turns out, okay, GDB, uh, something strange is going on there, so let's do uh, the ISIS and get util CPU, our right, task set, Robot love, Carl Sack, Red Hat stuff. Okay, not very much, right? It's it's like literally, uh, all right, I have a ruler. It's like a 273 line program, as much as I love minimal program stuff. You would think they would, would get argument handling, right, right? So, turns out the argument pass here, like it's the 80s, and that very strangely, um, because they break this while loop, so they only pass one argument, uh, or like some, like A, like like A for example, but P they break, C they break, so they only accept P or C and everything after that not anymore, and then they command line pass here like it's their first programming lesson in university. I have no idea, this is this kind of stuff, why? Why can people, they already use getup, right, they have not 
they have not YOLO'd their own, they have not rolled their own argument coding path, right? Like I would sometimes have done. So even if you would open code and, and roll your own, you could literally while loop over your arguments with string compare and have a less broken argument parsing stuff, right? Because what's happened is they only pass either P or C, then break auto there, as you see, and that effectively means that... Actually, wait, wait a second, they... Um, yeah, one bug. So, and also, because I was just <laughs> wondering one corner case, yes, they break out of there with P and C. Break out means they do not pass further arguments and they rely upon that with P, it must be at the end. Like, who is writing that, right? So that is why my intuitive, this is like 2023, a veteran Unix Linux user programmer with a whole Linux distribution with 25 years experience, too stupid or too educated, your choice down below. I expect, this is not how I expect argument parsing to work, right? I expect what most I mean, sure, we have strange argument stuff like syncdd with all tools have the same dash and double dash for short and long options, but no dd for really strange arbitrary birthday party reasons or so back in the 70s. IF equals, OF equals, BS equals, it's like, yeah, argument parsing from hell. I thought we have some standards, right? For me, if I have an argument like dash p, I expect that the next is the option for it, but or the next argument. But no, for nearly everything except dd and task set. No, with task set, you need to have dash p early and then the last argument, uh, is it even true? Oh no, so you don't you don't have it. Uh, actually, this is so confusing. How does it break? Anyway, uh, my, 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 my mind still hurts from this stuff, right? This this sheer craziness. I, I should I, I nearly want to say incompetence, right? And then people tell me, see, it's amazing, the system programming language. It's like, sure. Before you comment below or comment below, better comment below, share, like, subscribe, maybe Patreon. Um, sure, there are people write, rewriting this in Rust, right? But Rust is, C is not the only problem. You could have written it properly in C if you just didn't. How to properly do it? You use opt in, right? There is a, uh, it's like, I, I, I can't believe that in 2023 I need live on YouTube read the freaking man page manual to free software and Red Hat programmers. Men get opt, right? And um, is it even the, uh, maybe this wasn't so wrong, also because obviously all the main pages we have multiple times. Um, what is even, there is one uh, opt arc um, and opt index. So you would normally, the variable opt int is the index of the next element to be processed in arc v. The system initializes, also yeah, C global variables, right? I mean, obviously you have here some external and opt. Yeah, d d don't look too close. It's C. C programmers do C things with global variables and, and stuff, right? So, the P argument needs to be last and the C argument is also passed down here um, and then they check that they even use opt-in, right? They knew their existence, but ex instead of using it here, they use it here to double check that you, why do, what is that check doing? Pause the live stream, guru meditate, what is this check doing? This check is making sure, because they stop argument parsing, that there are no arguments between the last option index that can only be dash C for the CPU list. Um, and then they, Issues a wonderful, helpful diagnostic bad usage, um, and otherwise they parse the arcs somewhere. <sighs> My mind is blown, right? So, what is the, the right usage for that? Is um, CPU set a task set P first, then C, and then like here, then it actually works, right? And I had, 
I had to read the freaking source code. Sure, the man page gives you a tiny little hint, but I overread it, right? My brain is so wired to sane argument parsing, to stuff that makes sense, but probably after 25 years and hashtag peak bugs, my brain should probably already expect peak bugs. Sure, the man page gave you some hint, right? Have you, honestly, comment below, have you with this, also by the way, I think some Red Hat file was wrong wherever, somewhere I found a uh, wrong Red Hat uh, yesterday, it was yesterday. Um, I believe some document also got it wrong. Um, yeah, um, sure, the Red Hat stuff listed, but I, I over read this, right? My brain is so hardwired to, to saying stuff that I didn't even realize wait, they specify this is separated and it's like, dude, what's going on there, right? And sure, the man page um, task set. Sure, you have here dash p mask and then p id, but yeah, my, my brain, sure, you can always like, but hey, it was there in front of your eyes, but it's like, yeah, my, my, this is already auto-correction, right? You know, the thing when there are typos and like you, you just fluently read over them. It's like my, my brain just totally didn't expect such strange stuff. For me, it was like dash p, dash dash p id. It's like, yeah, surely. Also, I mean, it doesn't help that it's listed here like this. Before you complain too much, it's like, hey, they've literally dash p p id just, but, but then you have mask and CPU list. It's, it's like, like, like you. The problem with that is, Yesterday I thought, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bug, we fix it, right? But the problem is, it's like used for 10 years now, and now it's a standard similar. If you're wondering why do all the Unix, not all, why are there so many corner cases and imperfections with Unix commands? Yeah, because someone in the 70s or 80s or 90s or 2010s yoloed this strange argument parsing together and then it's a standard like forever. The problem is we can't even fix it now because it's like documented to be like this, right? I mean, you could, I mean, given that it's not valid, I mean, you could still fix it, like detecting whether dash p is followed by dash c, but like, come on, give me a break. I mean, there, there is, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's just, it's absolutely, it's, I find it crazy. Leave in the comments below. Um, uh, by the way, does it pass uh, this one? Maybe it, it does, right? Just chatting my, in the task But yeah, uh, this is why we can't have nice things, right? Like, I'm not looking for this stuff, right? This stuff just comes to me. I, I just use normal GNU Linux stuff. And as you probably have guessed from this channel, I daily encounter such stuff, right? And I, I wonder, if nobody else, I mean, sure, probably, probably everyone, I would expect everyone who ever used task set once probably expected it, but then it was already implemented for like a decade or 15 years. And then it was already what it is. Um, but yeah, for, and that's the thing, right? If we implement a new microkernel from scratch because better stuff, like if we would want to implement compatible stem things, I would not even like to implement it compatible like this, right? I mean, what is the point of such strange, like, and the problem is, if you have a generic argument parsing stuff, for example, I have my own super simple argument parsing stuff in C++, because obviously not going like type safe and automated type conversion stuff for 15 years already, because in the year, or over 15 years, when I was young and naive, I implemented, it's like, I can't, can't even show you that, and, didn't even think, but exact image. It's an open source stuff, right? Uh, GPL and so, like, for example, f I mean, it's of course not the best of the world, but better than nothing of arguments since the string and bool and stuff, right? Of short and long option, and then calling um, either callbacks or not, and whether residual or not, and, and stuff in min max and multiple arguments. Um, it's like, yeah, people have written better code before there was Rust. The problem is, if you had some automated argument parsing stuff that would be better than getopt, you couldn't even implement such stuff sanely, because normally you would have arguments and options and arguments or so. It's like, 
it's not like with sane argument parsing you could specify dash p but argument at the end it's like I mean okay I could manually implement it with my argument parsing with making this dash p a boolean option instead of an int and then enable residual gathering of my argument stuff residual being stuff not for arguments sync cp and stuff arguments but all the rest residual arguments are like file names and which obviously my exact image stuff here is using somewhere here's residual stuff somewhere some boolean somewhere of some argument helper or like actually maybe parsing that here uh, i'm not using the daily so can't remember each detail um Arclist read somewhere is some bool for residual parsing wherever that is and sure i could then check if dash p was supplied and there is like exactly one residual argument not passed like hey it is possible it's just not super pretty and not like some regular systematic argument parsing stuff would normally support anyway just wanted to share this quickly of it's like even in the simplest things the un simplest 273 lines including comments and copyright even in those unsuspecting poor little utilities are really strange things to be found right i mean not to mention bad usage because ah. it's like which you obviously also get as i said if you have stuff in between then bad usage because um stuff in between your last dash c and argument anyway leave me in the comments below a uh, really crazy stuff and and that is what I mean with subpar quality, right? It's looking unfortunately everywhere and it could have been, I mean, even in C it could have done better, certainly in C++, but also if you were wondering why are there crazy people out there rewriting everything in Rust, um, UU utils or so, core utils, but in Rust, um, I think I didn't package it yet. We probably could make another live stream and package that. Um, I think I started to package it, but it was somehow meh. But we could, yeah, share, like, subscribe. We just as a edit bonus make another live stream packaging that I think I did it six months ago and somehow it wasn't amazing, but because Rust and stuff, right? But by the way, do they have sketch utils? Just um, where would it be in utils? I think this was also somehow partially strange, but why is this? Why did this? Uh, what what is this even? Nah. I looked into this. Also, it is praised in some maybe this other utils and not source are here. Wherever that was, um, what else do they have? Task. U utils. Task. That do they have that? I actually could have. Here are some. Oh no, this is get utils. Um, nah, maybe they don't even have it yet because reasons doesn't. Um, Rust task set because uh, okay that so is uh, okay maybe they don't have it yet. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Learned something. This kids, young Padawans, this is not how you do argument parsing. Not in C. Not in C plus plus. And please don't write Rust code like that. Um, I remain shocked, puzzled, and I I learned. To memorize yet another strange Unix Linux command line argument invariant to fill my poor little brain cells with to remember forever because it would be too easy if you if, if that would would be somehow <laughs> uh, yeah systematic. Um, yeah comment there get opt breaking out of a switch not the while um, ah, okay, uh, true, but uh, the par argument parsing nonetheless remains. I don't par pass arguments. Yes, true. I stand corrected. Thanks for that. But um, um, case, yeah, okay, uh, that's true. But they don't pass the arguments. So sure. They, uh, yes, I I stopped for a moment. I, I was wondering what the heck something. You're right, but again, all the rest stands, uh, stands like that, right? They break out of, of that without uh, passing the argument. Um, I mean, okay, they pass the argument at, at the end, but not opt index, and they don't pass it here for dash c and rely 
on parsing the residual, uh, residual arguments at the end. Um, but what, by, what, by, right? There, there, there was no reason. They could have passed it here directly. Um, sure, you ca I can also always up, make up reasons, right? The, the reasons was they had, um, it probably was they had CPU set a task set. Oh, sorry, what was it, a task set? Um, task set, see whatever, some command, and then, but even that doesn't make the most sense, right? Then they wanted dash p, and they wanted dash like one to three. Oh, let's make this one just or one comma two. Um, sure, but even then, like why not support uh, that, right? Um, it it is just bizarre, right? The result of that is a reasonable usage of that without any need. I mean, sure, you can always. It probably was like this. It it was, but I mean, why not support dash? I mean, not even that is supported, right? I mean, basically, p must be first and cannot be. I mean, I mean, honestly, I mean, you could improve it a little bit, right? My earlier argument, you can't even fix this bug. I mean, sure, you could. I mean, it doesn't. At least you could support also dash p. Actually, you know what? Let's. Uh, at least you could support that, right? There is no argument of not being able to support this. Basically, what it would take to fix this would be you could still support this nonsense of having dash p early by simply changing the c parsing um, to pass the next argument directly and uh, then uh, may maybe I do this later, but the yeah, it probably would be an improvement. Like, because why not, right? It's it's like literally, it's ah, it's it's just hilarious. It's uh, yeah. Trebek said, "Right, honestly, few other languages have good argument parsing out of the box." But yeah, I mean, again, I'm not criticizing getopt except global variables. You. It's, it's, in my opinion, they misuse this, right? I uh, need to check. Uh, I just pressed your random buttons for re maximize. Um, you just move this argument parsing. Where do they even have this opt index? So, uh, where do they path that here? Of um, it, what did, did they set? They set here some use list, um, they pass it here, and so, I mean, basically, I mean, not to change uh, the code here much, we could, uh, do I have, no, I don't, let's make a copy to later div it, um, it's like, yeah, I need to fix other people's C code live here on this channel, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, that's probably what what therapy is actually what use list. So not to change this parsing here, as it certainly could. CPU mm, must pass axi. Yeah, I mean otherwise, like not to change that too. The other stuff, I would need to guru meditate about what failed to pass CPU use list. That ah uh, oh wait, oh my god they have been else I just now realize. Oh my god! Um, this is also this is confusingly written. Actually, I thought this is just another last else block, but this is some else. Like all this stuff is the else. Oh. I mean, this is also uh, violating all good code indentation standards. Yeah, if if you were looking for good code examples, um, that's probably not it. Um, because here they also pass, yeah, so much to pass CPU mask. Why is, what is that even doing? Even this is confusing, right? Here's because they don't have braces here. This is like kits. This is why you put braces everywhere and do not special ident other if things like they would look like they are part of some other if else block. Um, because this also looks like it's 
freestanding here when it isn't right i mean what i mean is like normally like much more readable i mean it's separating by a new line that it's yeah, this is really offending c code right it's like basically maximize confusion of the reader and reviewer um and then this is this is a whole else thing right because this is Are we, or is it actually this is so confusing how is this in the c standard it should be i mean this else if else so else oh my god um i mean it should be right i know it's even confusing me it, it must be like that there should not be any yeah and this is why you properly do it in the first place and yeah this is i mean i don't i kind of don't even want to touch it right this is such this is such code quality style from hell it's i mean clearly if i mean this else if clearly yeah this must be how it is um but how what do they pass here then so this is a, which which case would it even be so and that's also the thing right see here's not even a freaking comment right i mean sure here's a comment thank you very much but um it's like ma manually so this is if there's one like get only so this is when there is no option as this also i mean this is this is so hilariously written right subtracting option indexes from um, the total argument count and if this is one it's like this is uh, I, no, I I really don't really want to patch it I mean it's this is just too cursed this is uh, it's it's ridiculous right and this is and then the C programmers tell us for decades, ah, C is fine. It's, I mean, sure, you can write identical. I mean, it's, it's probably mostly valid C++ code. Sure, but this is not how you would write proper C++ code. And you, of course, you can, people always think you just write in Rust and all the world problems are solved. No, you can write identically cursed, indented, sure, probably Rust will give you a warning. Um, haven't tried it recently, but you can write the same broken argument parsing and misleadingly indented if blocks in rust as well right it's not like you write in rust and, and it solves everything it's um yeah traffic that being is death since the 90s there are a lot of bad c patterns out there but look at modern python mo5 yes i agree i'm 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 also not a fan of python um I, I wonder that it's so, I mean, maybe Python is just so popular because, um, I mean, I would say initially Python was actually quite okay. It also just got out of hand, right? Um, I totally agree that modern, C, uh, modern Python code is not, I, I don't, often don't find it the most readable, right? I sometimes have to deal with it. I always wonder like, do how can people write such uh, hard to follow and read code? So sure, you can write, as I said, you can also write bad code in, in Rust. Um, yeah, also I would say you, you say uh, throws random exceptions instead of segfaulting. I would say exceptions still better than segmentation fault because random data corruption is much harder to find and the segmentation fault might be already later after uninitialized, overwritten and, and differently used pointers in memory and, and used after three, uh, used after three and whatnot. So actually uh, I would say I uh, I would prefer a um, direct runtime exception um, in whatever language over e also Lua than random crashes like maybe. because then at least you know hey it it, it is ex exception ABC is wrong at this place instead of I had to literally fire up a debugger to figure out what is going on with the cursed argument parsing here, right? Um, but yeah, bread practice is everywhere. Uh, instance package called ls colors. Manage some random others. Person related shouldn't is color. Let be maintained by this provider. 
Atlas Provider. We still have more look style for every condition or none, not mixed and put braces in new lines. Uh, else, uh, yeah. Anyway, it's probably it for this video. I mean, should I? I mean, we have some subscribers, viewers. I mean, I'm, I'm kinder tempted. So, I mean, basically, you would need to understand. So, this is just checking that there are no. Um, I mean, this is C. I mean, I would personally use a short from common, but uh, no residual arcs between last op and after uh, arcs after. But this is also like 2023. You start commenting other people's Free Software Foundation GNU code because it's too crappy, right? Um, where do we have other stuff? Uh, this would only if we send it in. So, Mary, do you have some other arguments? So, did I comment? Did I change this already? Or did, did I just quit here? Maybe I. Um, um, it's most likely a, a Linux thing, but we can check uh, our task set, right? Our task set. POSIX, is this a POSIX thing? Unix Linux forms. Do we have a, a very standard for that availability? Util Linux package downloaded, yada yada, I see also. Scheduling description, scheduling, copyright, Robert and Love. Part of utils, yada yada, git repository, blah blah blah. Uh, POSIX, Unix, it might be a Linux thing. Um, uh, what uh, else would their um, list of POSIX? There's also single. What is a single Unix or so? Standards, single Unix specifications, so single Unix task set. Um, don't instantly find the standards for that. Yeah, I, t I totally also uh, would group stuff by functions and, and whatnot. Uh, what are your thoughts on C++? C, um, I said it before, right? I was a huge fan of C++ when I was young and naive, um, 20 years ago. Um, I was a huge fan of C++ in the 2000s because it's much it can be used much better than C. Then there was a decade of not much development after C++ 1998 or so. Um, and that time it was quite okay. In But the latest in advancements, like after a decade of no development, I would say there was a decade of too much development. And now C++, in my opinion, um, you could argue C++ 1998 was already too complex. But the new C++, I'm not a fan of anymore because it's too complex. And uh, some things are nice, but some things are way too over complex. And um, I would, I would even an ideal C++ would be even some features removed in, like some strangeness removed from C++ 1998, plus some selected features for modern C++ stuff, but a lot of modern C++ stuff is way too complex and, and uh, misguided. Um, I would, so I, I'm still using a old fashioned C++ subset of like C++ 1998 with some improvements is for me, kind of the middle ground. Um, mm, yeah. Yeah, I agree with basically modern C++ has some long overdue additions, but like let's maybe like 10% are nice, long overdue nice additions, but 90% is also really uh, too overly complex stuff that shouldn't be in. Also, yeah. Anyway, also the STL sucks a lot, lot of like, I, I, yeah, right, actually I would, I would have, the, the problem is backward compatibility, right? The people, the C++ ISO committee probably couldn't properly fix C++ because they wanted 100% backward compatibility because a lot of things in the STL really suck uh, that were in there forever and that's just, they couldn't, I would, I would personally say, you know what, C++ 2.0 just deprecate the stuff or not, not make it available by default or whatever. Um, and 
Uh, yeah, anyway, for example, streams, a lot of things in streams you can't do nicely, and a lot of methods are, yeah, often. Uh, like, for example, string find stuff with, with C pointers, like C string pointers and, and other. Yeah, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, so you should pass it here. So, um, we had that here. Did I even save that? Probably I didn't save it, right? For some, I probably quitted it because I saw there. Yeah. Um, uh, anyway, so th this is this here. So, uh, this as we just, I uh, just do it again here. Uh, let's just wanna. Um, I'm not really sure which case that is. The exit failed to parse CPU mask. I'm, uh, where is that even coming from? I mean, maybe I should even send it upstream. I mean, I mean if I would just sit here and become the world's famous YouTuber by trying to get the patch into every package ever, I could try to get this upstream now. But uh, I'm also... Where is even... Wait a second. No, this is, this is if... Ah, so if they can't pass it here, so here, so that is... Pass it. But but which case? So this is... Um, not have exit, so... Here is... Ah, okay, this is... So this is just memory allocation, if they can allocate a new CPU set. Um, so this is basically get... Okay, so this is... So this is it's like, yeah, I mean, no arguments, so arcs, so it's also silly, but it's just like, so yeah, like, uh, what is with my keyboard? What have I pressed here? No. Um, trailing argument, so argument. Um, get. So otherwise, get, so then either use list, or, okay, so this is, okay, this is get, as uh, this is set, so it's either use list or. Um, fail to pass. Why is this different here? Uh, why is... Okay, this is just different in the last argument here. Fail to pass, because otherwise it is identical. Oh, this is also shitty written, right? Like why... So wh what is that even doing? CPU list... Uh, parse... Uh, where, where is it? Somewhere else, apparently. Skid. CPU, whoops, parse, that is, where is it even, some lip thing or what? Are oh, there lip CPU lip, uh, lip CPU set, uh, CPU parse, ah, oh, this is set size, so, also, I mean, that is one thing I like with Objective-C, that you have verbose arguments, so that would be CPU, CP in Objective-C, um, and that's a something that, like, basically a lot of languages, I would need to check Rust, I don't, I don't write daily Rust yet, but so basically it would really help with this stuff um, in, in, like, Objective-C stuff, like, that, that would be, like, parse um, and set size or whatever, right? And then uh, you would actually know, so what is the set size doing, though? Um, set Set size. Okay, this is zero CPU masks in this use color. Um, okay, what what was it? Oops, what was it? Even freaking so use list. Um, failed to pass CPU use use list. Uh, use list rather than masks. Ah. Okay, so the, the parsing thing, so, ah, okay, this is, this is a, a pure number, so then it's a, um, okay, but do you know how it is, ah, this are two diff, what, use, ah, this is CPU, ah, this is one CPU list uh, pass and uh, the other is CPU mask pass, okay, the name is also overlooked here, the name, um, yeah, but theoretically you could also have one function, but what is this CPU list parse? Um, CPU list parse in fail. Um, 
return to if fail is set and CPU number passed in the list doesn't fit into the CPU set if fail is not set CPU number that do not fit are ignored and one is returned instead. Okay, so this is not fail for some reason. Um, okay, use list or mask. Um, can we write this any nicer? Ah, uh, you know what? This is also I only now realize this is even more. Oh, this is so brain fucked. Um, and only now I realize um, that even this is uh, this is again compacted, right? So this is actually this should be in a new uh, if block. This is why this also uh, confused me more than it should. This is one of the now the identification is, is, is off. I mean, this is actually how this should have been. And I mean, there, there they don't. Oh, this is so cursed. I don't, I don't know what is wrong with people. I mean, yeah, theoretically, if we say parentheses everywhere, then we would need to have them here too. Yeah. Um, so now, now it's actually readable. So as a use task, I mean, b because this was also misleading of error handling or as. Uh. Okay, so mask or not. Um, so that's basically if we don't have an option. So yeah, if, if this has an option. Okay, so um, okay, this is why they have it down here. So now that we actually untangled this mess here, um, they have the mask passing here, right? So only the C is set, and otherwise they pass the the mask there. This is why they have it so strange. Okay, now we. Um, but. Um, yeah, to fix improve this with backward compatibility, we would need to check whether there is another option following um, dash p. And yeah, now we spend our time actually figuring out this. But to be honest, like in the Linux kernel, usually such strangely code would probably usually not accepted it would be rejected with like formatting they even have theoretically code formatting checks right and uh, maybe all projects should rather reject such misleading um, formatting and, and code style although maybe GNU stuff doesn't have a better uh, so that is uh, do we, we would have CP in here right so to, Would here not, uh, or is it not bin cp? In ah, core utils, no, of course. Ah, but mount and stuff. So, where is mount c? Why did this not ah, mount also? Yeah, maybe I have again a crump under my end. Happens sometimes on the sun keyboard. Uh, is this argument passing also so... Well, at least look, it looks a little bit more sane on a first glance, but yeah. Um, is it fixable or is it improvable? Yes. Is it... Is it nice? Improvable? Yeah, it, it's probably not worth it, right? We it literally need to put too much more time into uh, improving that. Uh, which one was it even? Um, so basically, how would we? We would need to. Yeah, basically, because it breaks out of here, then, right? It doesn't continue parsing because it doesn't. I mean, we could flag it here of we had a PID already. Actually, um, uh, because it, it takes it from yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's it's not worth it, it's not worth my time. It's it's just it, it's set. It's uh, yeah. 
So that's basically it. Um, another lesson learned, better, better not look into others. Creepy C code. Um, people continue discussing C++. Um, I missed a couple of comments there. Those conditionals would be a lot easier if they just created if uh, I had this already. People in the comments love C++ per field just like copying other languages now rather than... Yeah, they, they also, similar to Lua, they add too much stuff. I, I think also people sometimes should just stop adding stuff to trying to fit everything but the kitchen thing. Uh, modern C++ has long overdue additions. So, yeah, I said this already. So pretty much trying to say that C set of C++ down compatibility with C set C++ down. Well, yeah, that's I Personally, like maybe in some C++ 2.0 to make it more safe, maybe um, I understand compatibility and stuff and all the thousands of uh, software companies and, and Windows. And that's also the problem, right? Like Microsoft and Google, I actually know secondhand, or is it yeah, secondhand, uh, because I know, I know people who were sitting in the um, ISO C++ meetings and uh, so I know some stuff and I also know that some people were not happy that Google and, Google and Microsoft pushed their stuff in there and that's it. So it's not like there were not arguments and Google and Microsoft push, pushed their agenda at times that at times nobody else wanted. But that's of course only a, a side note of all the other. Certainly a lot of them, there had to be a committee to agree to this. So for I, my personal C++, I, I would have removed um, old fashioned string compatibility stuff from the STL, f for make find, find and first and use saner ranges. Um, and um, in general, in my opinion, I would be fine. And it could be in compile, compile option, like disabling pointer arithmetic completely or casts. I, I understand that would transition the language, right? But like making it harder for people to, sure, it would still not be memory safe language like Rust, but making it way harder for people to shoot themselves into the food, which they constantly do as seen here. Um, for example, like disabling uh, casts between pointers and arrays um, and and so on um, it would not fix everything or other there are even stuff that I constantly forget is possible uh, like yeah there, there is crazy like if you have a pointer some even I forget so some stuff is equivalent for historic reasons what like diver so you can there is stuff like I, I would need to Google it, right? So such stuff I would never write C pointer the reference crazy examples. There must be some crazy pointers. I don't know. Um, some stuff I didn't even know was valid C. Uh, sign up try. Can we have here? Uh, you can Google it yourself. I, this, this stuff is too. I, I sometimes see stuff where I wonder, like, do how is it even valid? And it is for compatibility with 70s C code reasons. Um, just want more of the simple things, better methods of for strings like starts with and such spans and lists. Um, not to say C++, poor design, APIs, STLs, lack of thoroughness of both STL and new language features. Implementing it to be more efficient. Legacy spaghetti can be. Though legacy spaghetti can be precious in its own way, yeah, but only if you like like crossword puzzles or Zodoku, right? I mean, it's this is a thing, right? A 25-year veteran Unix person should not need to read the C code to make the set stuff work, right? And 
this is, I mean, this should be so simple and self-explanatory that like this works and it doesn't. And so for this to, so the mask would be this, right? Um, and that is what's passing. So this would be um, a bit mask versus a uh, human readable list. So mask would be like this, right? Uh, if, if F works, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I, maybe the, we can check what they pass this. Uh, where is the mask? It was here. And they pass this. Ah, they ma use CPU mask pass, whatever they use there in lib of mask. Parse, mask parse, and they use a mem compare. Skip 0x if it's all x anyway. Uh, yeah, of course they mem compare. Oh my god, they. Oh, oh my brain hurts. Uh, some Someone call an ambulance. I mean, why not freaking. I mean, Lang. Like, they string Lang this here. I mean,. Each sane person would freaking string compare that. My, my god, who, who wrote this freaking over? Like, string, I mean, okay, maybe if you don't have string and compare or stuff. Um, it's... <laughs> doctor, doctor, it hurts. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts when I see this. I, I better... Uh, I have a solution for that. I, here, here, I, I fixed it, I fixed it. That's it for this video. Um, kids. This is rated 16 plus, right? Don't, don't go to the GNU tools. Don't read free software for this. Don't, don't, kids, see if I hereby declare C, what is it, UK, Peggy, or whatever, 16 or whatever. This is, it's like, yeah, uh, UK age rating, what is it, Pe Peggy, Peg, whatever, 12, what is the, the pronunciation of? Uh, rating stuff of material suitable for uh, what is freaking I heard it sometimes pronounced I never I never uh, whatever uh, is it C B B F C ah you get the idea right so this is say kids start learning say learn learn Rust stuff it's it's like it's, it's, it's not it's, don't spoil your brain with, with this malicious content. That's it really for this video. As usual, if we start talking about some, some stuff, then we're 15 minutes over. Um, I don't, well, it's like, I don't just look crazy stuff in, I don't want to really, um, if I always tell on YouTube what, what other people tell me, then nobody talks with me anymore. <laughs> And I don't want, don't want to disclose too much, but I mean, just look at all the crazy stuff that is C++, um, new version features, maybe from Wikipedia or other safe websites. Um, basically, if you look into all the, the crazy library stuff, did they not once? Um, I even lose overview if they now have graphic stuff in there, right? Um, did they go through with that um, graphic? I mean, once upon a time, I think there was a proposal even to put um, Cairo into the, into C++, right? C++, ISO, they, and, and other huge... Uh, yeah, Cairo proposed to become part of ISO C++. It's... If this keyboard in, in my head and brain, I, I would... I need... I can't even drink so much, right? I can't, I, c I cannot take drugs as strong to, to make my brain want to do that, right? So, yeah, this kind of stuff, I, I don't know what's wrong with people. I also, I literally didn't follow which of all those crazy things ended up in ISO, hopefully not, uh, because some of the stuff is, is, is just outrageously stupid um, that I better shut up now and... Wish you a good and better day or night. Share, like, and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon for all the next code therapy sessions to come.